Hi everyone! Hat for Words is back with a new lesson and today the topic is What do pink and your pinky have in common? Oh no 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 no, no that pink. I mean pink that describes the color. Okay, now much better. So, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, Sarah Wumi asked me the question. She wonders why does the pinky that describes your little finger have the word pink in it? She thinks that maybe because pink is a uh, pink in color. Okay, let me tell you something. This is actually a very interesting question and you will be surprised to find out the relationship between pink and pinky has nothing to do with the color. In fact, pink itself did not even start out describing the color at all. Let me explain why. The word pink is derived from the old Dutch word pink, which means small. So pink started out meaning small, which explains the relationship between small finger, but I'll get to that later. Through a series of twists and turns, pink ultimately came to describe the color, but the way it got there is crazy. So please bear with me on this. In the 16th century, the Scots adopted the word pink from the Dutch and used it to describe small things as the Dutch did. They also adopted the phrase pink organ which meant pink eyes or half closed eyes in Dutch. Half closed eyes is an inflammation of the eye and we usually call it pink eye nowadays. So when you have a pink eye or conjunctivitis your eye is usually half closed. But it's not pink at all, it's kind of red. So how did we get the pink color out of all of this? Hmm. Okay, now listen to this. There is a flower called Dianthus that looks like a small half-closed eye. So people in 17th century started calling the flower pink eye because it looked like half closed eye. Then it turned out that the actual color of the flower is pink. So people started calling the actual color of the pink eye flower as pink. So as you can see pink started out meaning small which explains why the Scots used the word to describe the smallest finger, the pinky, but pink also described the inflammation of the eye, the small half-closed eye, which also looked like a flower. And this flower happened to be pink in color, which is what pink came to describe. Nowadays, the color pink and no longer means small. So guys, the relationship between pink and pinky has to do with the small size, not the color. Sarah? great question. Who would ever thought that the word pink had such an interesting story? Okay guys, I hope you liked my little lesson and please rate my video so I know how I'm doing and remember to subscribe so you'll be notified when my new video is up. And I'm very excited to see you all soon with my new lesson. Have a great day! Bye!